another, another good day out there. One clean fillet. The other day when I had the other few uh, suckers here that we're cleaning, I didn't want to record it because it was the first time I ever actually cleaned sucker. But now that we're, uh, I kind of understand them and it seems like a lot of people do them all the same way. They, uh, some of them cut them around, they come up the backbone, they peel around. But what I'm noticing is you have your rib bones here from here to here about, and then you're getting a bone series coming down the top of Y bones. And I'm also finding a row on the bottom, which are why they're called a, like a bony fish. A lot of people don't like it, but I find the meat is phenomenal. So we're gonna um, fillet these out and I'll show you how we do it. For uh, quite a while and I'm starting to learn it more and more and it's becoming cleaner and cleaner other than the cutting board. But what you're doing is a regular cut here right behind their head. And uh, you can do it on both sides. And then you're doing one cut on either side, each side of the spine coming down by the dorsal fin. And now once I come to about the pec fin here down at the bottom, this fin, then I start coming out because in for me, this is all bone. Can you eat this? Yeah, they say you can, but I'm going to cut this all the way down here, come up just like Instead that. of just taking it off like I would normally do a trout, you just come through here and ride right over the rib cage. It keeps it the cleanest out of all the ways I did these now. I find this to be the best and the most efficient way. It keeps everything clean. See your rib cage right there? You just keep kind of cutting in front, lifting up, take your time, watch your finger, nice and clean. And then you'll hit the belly part here. What I do is I just poke through, cut. Okay. So now you have a nice beautiful chunk here. And what I want you to look at is, see here, the rib cage. So the rib cage comes down and then it ends here, right? Right about where I cut. Right at this point, these are all bones that are on both sides, top and bottom, they're, they're top and bottom bones. And that's why I just discontinue that. Even though some people cut them and fry them, I'd rather not. I have elderly people eating these and I don't want them to choke or anything like that. So what I notice is right up to about this fin, this chunk of meat is what you're gonna get that's pretty much free of everything. And you can feel that by, if you cut down right there, I hit a bone, I know I hit a bone, hit a bone, right there free but you have the upper bones which are here so i just cut those out simply by i feel the line you could kind of see the line right here and i just kind of simply cut them out just like that and i make a nice cut right out this is pretty much the cleanest way i've seen everybody has their own way to do it but this is the cleanest way i've done it uh, so far so now that you have that out, you have one big chunk here. It's gonna come down. And take that out. That right there is all meat. Everything else here, whether or not you can keep it, that's up to you. I don't. And that's all one clean filet. For getting this out, one more thing I just want to show you. This would be attached just like this here, okay? So this is the top side, this is the bottom. When you take it off, now this is the top side, this is the bottom. And that row of bones, pretty much what I'm cutting out is, because like I said, I'm not taking anything from here back. Um, it's hard to tell when you come up here because it's thicker, but when you get back here, you'll start feeling them. And there's a line here 
right in there and that's where you'll feel them so what i'm doing is i'm kind of working that knife see that groove there's a deep groove here i'm working that blade like this so just to show you how i'm separating them because here there's no bone so i'm taking the blade and there's the line of bones i come up a hair more to the uh the center part and i just cut right down one shot You'll feel the, the knife, it'll rub right into them if there are bones in there. See that? This has no bones now. So are you getting a lot out of this fish? No. Um, unless you want to fry this up with the bones and take that chance. I'm not doing that. See here? Everything's out. And this is all good meat. And then I just kind of come back here, dig down, bend that blade. Just like that. Now you have nice filet strip right there. 